Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Feed Utah Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free sample from our value counter pack. This pack contains 50 counters of all sorts to help you display data on screen very easily. In this video, I'll share with you one of those titles and how you can use it for your future project. So if you're ready, let's check it out. You can download this free sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder, in the folder you have a couple of things. You get the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. So just select all the font and double click on them to start the installation process. Then you can select the TRFX file and double click on it. It will prompt open this window asking you if you want to install the sample and you can just select install. Once on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, you can simply go over to Effect, then Title, Video Studio, and then you can just scroll down to Sample. And then you will be able to find it right here, but you can turn back Sample, you can then take it and drag it here to your timeline. This is a circle counter animation that contain an icon, a counter, some text, and that circle that just reflect the change that you want. So for the first thing, as you can see right now, we're getting a real time playback at 30 FPS. But if that's not the case for you, you can go over to playback. Then here you can go to render cache and select smart instead of none. That will just bring that bar that's going to turn from red to blue. And that's just going to cache in your title. And when you play it, you'll be able to get real time playback. These performance may vary depending on the power of your computer. Once that being said, let's jump into the inspector and what we can do with it. First off, you can extend or reduce the title as you want. And you can also make some adjustment to the animation right here directly in the inspector. So right now, by default, the animation is about two seconds. But if you want it to be faster or slower, you can modify that right here. And for example, selecting one instead of two and now the animation will be only one second you can then also adjust the animation in and the animation out you can choose between different style of animation right now we have zoom in but you can select any of the one available right here in that drop down you can also select to have no animation at all and that way you will just have the contour animation and there will be no other animation to bring the title in the frame and this is the same thing for the animation out right here. If you wish to reset any parameters to the default one, you can just double click on that parameter and it will just reset it to the default value. Now let's see how we can modify the look of that title. First off, the counter. We can add a prefix or a suffix before or after that counter. So here, for example, if I want to add a dollar sign right at the beginning, I can just go to prefix and add a dollar sign and now, as you can see, we have a dollar sign at the beginning. If I want to add a percentage at the end, we can do the same thing, but this time on the suffix and add all percentage right after uh, the number. You can also add additional number. Uh, you can add text. You can really add whatever you want. Then to adjust the counter number itself, you have a starting number and you get a final number. So you can choose any value that you want as big or as little as you wish. For example, here, what if instead of making it go all the way to 1,500 something, we make it only go to 87. Now that gives us more space to, for example, add other stuff at the beginning or at the end. For example, here, minus, and then after we can add cal, for example. Now it's still too big, for example, here for circle. So now if we wanted to adjust the overall size of this text, we can just go to the counter, and then here we can reduce the overall size. You can also change the font, you can change the color, you can change the shading element. For example, if you want this to pop out a lot more, you can have a built-in background. So here we have a text background available. We can just increase here the roundedness and increase the horizontal. And now we have a background. We can also change the color of that background. For example, if we wish to take uh, the purple here of the circle, we can do that. And with those shading elements, you can basically add any shadow or outline that you want directly right here. Now coming a few steps back, there is one parameter here, which is the circle scale, which is basically the representation of that circle. When it's here, it's at zero. And when it's full, it's at one. So you can adjust that to whatever value you want. Right now we at 73% of the circle. So if you want to display 87, like it's the case right here, you can just change that value right there to 0 0.87. And now you will have the exact proportion compared to like what it would be for 100%. 
Now we also have the size and position, so you can adjust the overall size and position of that counter. You can displace it on screen wherever you want. And again, just double click on any value to reset it to the default parameter. Then here on the circle, we can make some more adjustments. So you can adjust the border width if you want to have something that is thinner or if you want to have something that is bigger. We can also change the gradient color. So right now that's a gradient, but if you want, that can be only one solid color and you can adjust that to whatever color you wish. And then we get the icon. So here by default, we get that flame icon, but here you can load any icon that you want. So here, if instead I want to bring this icon, I can do that and now that will be replaced with the icon that I've just loaded. You can adjust the position, you can adjust the size and the overall color of that icon. And then lastly, we get the text that you have right here. You can replace it for whatever text you want or completely removing it if you wish to. You can adjust the font, the size, the tracking, uh, the position, etc. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and that this uh, title will serve you well. If you enjoy those kind of title, we have a full pack available on our website with uh, 50 different counter that gonna serve like multiple purposes. They come in all sort of shape and sizes. So you can really uh, mix and match and have something that is tailored specifically for your project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.